The Mighty Mighty Boss Tones on Triple M. It's the Rush Hour with Liesl, Liam and Dobbo. It's your new local. And it's a pleasure to have this man back in the studio. He was the only person who was prepared to stick around on a Friday when you two gave yourself an early mark. Dobbo, Liesl. He'll do anything for money. Well, no, He'll do anything he, for money. He, he, it's been proven. I might as well it. sleep here. I worked out. Well, hold on. But ben, you forgot the rule. You're not allowed to talk until we play your opener. <laughs> the Round in Review with Ben Teo. <laughs> I mean, hang on, can I just stop, stop? How the hell did we give this bloke an opener? Like, you know, as it is, he's lucky to be here and now he's well, got an opener. Is that is that opener? Is that I think that's Vossy saying my name. I want, <laughs> I want, I want raps. <laughs> like, at least give me raps. Well, you guys missed Come the on. revelation on Friday's show that he's got a statue at Suncorp. Yeah. Yeah. The Artie Beats, Artie Beats and statue is, is Ben Teo. I love that. Yeah. And his hands so, is uh, Ben Teo. Take the head off. Like, it's it's 95% mm. me. Your body. It's now, my body. Yeah. But Lockie, it's not you. It's Wally, not, but it is. You get Teo. rabs if you play eight games of State of Origin, oh, not seven. Shot. Just eight. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> There's a question That's mark the over how many actually did play. <laughs> she's, anyway. got, she's got Olympic gold medal. She can take those shots, mate. <laughs> World record. Exactly. Yeah. Now, listen. Um, let's talk... We just talked about the Broncos a little mm. earlier. Yeah. Big challenge against the Storm, no doubt. It'll, in a lot of ways, it's going to show where they're truly at because the Storm aren't at full strength. It depends if Pappenhausen comes back. But I want to talk about the Gold Coast Titans, and mm. and I'm not in any way a basher of the Titans. I want the Gold Coast to succeed, and I love Justin Holbrooks as, as a bloke, um, and I think he's a, a good coach. But it ain't working for him at the moment on the case. Do they pull the trigger? Do they see out the year or do they keep on down this road of youth? Uh, well, in terms of the coach, they have to see out the year. I think you've got to see out the year, do some planning for next year. Maybe he has a clean out of backroom staff, but I definitely think that he needs another year. He needs another opportunity because, what was it, two years ago we were saying well, he, he's the best young coach coming through. Got him to the eighth he's, last year. Uh, yeah, or a Patrick Herbert passed away from going into the yeah, second week of finals. He was yeah. doing wonders at St. Helens, and he's a young, good coach. So he needs time. Um, look, they've got to look at all the other stuff around it. I love the Gold Coast too. I went to high school there. I know it's a great nursery. There's plenty of good rugby league players coming through, but they've got to get it right. So is it the assistance, you think? The roster's got to have an overhaul as well because the, yeah. the, the roster – in a lot of ways, and we've seen it with Brisbane two years ago. Yeah, it just feels like that they've gone. I think they went down far, the same too far young. Yeah, and said we're going to trade out all these older blokes because we've got the best young talent coming yeah. through, but the young talent haven't done anything at NRL level. Yeah, and they didn't only go too far young; they went too far for dominate. Yeah, you know, too many Fords in that pack, uh, not enough money in the spine. A team that's got a heap of depth is the Panthers and oh the West Tigers are getting their claws out and, and wanting Cameron Soroldo. But it's a five-year deal. That seems like a little bit risky to me and a little bit too long. Yeah, I think when you're the West Tigers, you're, you're looking for an answer. And I think now they realise they need to play the long game. And that's why they're looking at him as a young coach, a guy that's got great relationships with the juniors out at Penrith. And I think it's a smart decision to take someone like that for a long term and give him time because he, he can obviously coach. But as Dobbo knows and all you guys know, when you get in the hot seat and your team's losing and you're sitting at the press conference and Dobbo's yelling out questions, <laughs> you know, it's hard, is it? It's different to being an assistant. So well, that's what he'll have to deal with. And, and that's what not all coaches can handle that. See, I've got a theory on this. You're not, Cameron Serrato is the most sought after coach who hasn't coached an NRL club yet. We all know that. He's, you know, and we don't know what coaches are like as assistants till they're head coaches. Yeah. But the West Tigers, uh, they need to get a big fish to try and attract some players. So yeah. if Serrato is the most chased person, if you give him a three-year deal, it ain't going to work. No, it, you you just won't time. take it. It's not yeah. enough time. So five years, you know, it could be a bust. We saw what happened with Anthony Seabold. Like, they had to pay him out after a year and a half. It could be a bust. But the only way you're going to get the players that you want and get some stability there is five years. And you're a premiership player. Well, you're not a premiership player at West Tigers, but you you, you yeah. played for that club. It's where you made your debut. You yeah. know the, the know fabric. The system, you yeah. know the system's there. Like, the junior base in the Western Suburbs. Huge. And, yeah, so if he can get it right, Five years will be perfect. They'll be he'll be there for ten years because he'll he'll go on. But 
There's, yeah, the CEOs that, that think they're bigger than the yeah. CEOs that think they're bigger than the yeah. game. I mean, cut off sleeves with tats. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to, you know, like, yeah. I'm not saying anything, but <laughs> uh, seriously. Well, they've always had trouble recruiting, haven't they? It's probably, you know, to be honest, looking at the Sydney clubs, uh, it's the one that most guys mm. um, would struggle to go well, to. Well, they've got Papa Lee going oh, there. Next year. And Happy. And yeah. Happy Corusel. But, but if makes you've got a, a coach difference. like him, and then people say he's a great, I'll go play for him, that's what you need. They'd be, they'd be banking on him having some sway over that Penrith nursery and being able to bring some some young talent that yeah. hasn't been locked down by the Panthers to the West Tigers with him. If he takes that deal, Liesl, you're right, though. It is if, a five-year. Yeah, it's a bit long. If, if he has got as much power as Gus, who also knows that, who's going to be looking to that nursery yeah. for the... And Everyone's Uncle going Wayne, shopping there. Peter Every- O'Sullivan. <laughs> they're all shopping out of Penrith. Yeah, it's Boxing it's Day of the Panthers. <laughs> uh, now, Mr. T, we appreciate you coming in, talking some footy with us on a Monday, as you always do. But the mail is that our man Dobbo, tomorrow on the show, Ooh. will be dropping a fairly significant story oh, about it. the club you might do a bit of work with. He's all he got all the scoops, the ice cream man. Can I <laughs> can I can I just tell you one thing right this moment? What's I'll give that? you one big secret, and I think it's official. We can. We, I, I'm going to break this story about Ben Teo. Oh, when Ben Teo coaches in the NRL. He's football manager, which has been already decided. <laughs> you can say this. Who will be your football manager? Ben Dobbin. I will be his football. So, I've given Ben us. Tio a commitment. He's going to be he's, the Ben when, Icon. When I've given Ben Tio a commitment, when he coaches the NRL, I will resign and go and be his football no. manager. No. <laughs> really? I don't know why I did, Do you but think I, I, could, that yeah, well, I won't let him there the cap, though. We've never, w- cap? Well, I was about to say, we've never seen a team relegated from the NRL <laughs> before. But we might be up <laughs> that <laughs> shows how confident I am of being on radio for another 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ben Tio, we love having you, and we'll talk to you again soon. No worries.